Gus Fring is easily one of the most mysterious, terrifying, and flat-out fascinating characters that's ever been created. To see him coming back to the Breaking Bad universe in Better Call Saul truly made the show infinitely better. But there was a brief moment in time when that almost didn't happen. What am I saying? At first, the actor didn't want to come back to play Gus Fring at all. What was it that ultimately changed the actor's mind? This is why Giancarlo Esposito almost turned down his Better Call Saul return. Can you imagine what Better Call Saul would have been if Esposito had decided to decline to reprise his legendary role? Even though the character didn't appear in the series until the third season, Better Call Saul would have been a completely different show if it hadn't been for Esposito's imposing presence. Younger, tighter skin, high and tight, <laughs> beautiful smile. Uh, you know, that's all. Beautiful blue eyes. The criminal mastermind and Los Poyos Hermanos owner, who bears one of the most unassuming names imaginable, Gus Fring, instantly became one of the most important characters of the show. And with Esposito back in his shoes, Better Call Saul was able to delve a little deeper into this enigmatic character and his curious history. From the moment Gus first appeared on the scene in Breaking Bad, it became clear that we had never seen anything like him before, even if you couldn't quite put your finger on it. This man just gives you goosebumps and makes you want to stand against a wall or something, just to make sure nothing's happening behind your back as Gus silently stares into the darkest corners of your soul. But it wasn't exactly a given that Esposito would be willing to return to the role, despite a very promising story arc involving his dangerous feud with his natural nemesis, Tony Dalton's Lalo Salamanca. Better Call Saul took Breaking Bad fans six years back in time. <laughs> to tell the story of how Bob Odenkirk's Jimmy McGill came to be the quick-witted defense attorney Saul Goodman. Because before we met him as the cheeky attorney that almost fearlessly serves the New Mexico underworld in Breaking Bad, he was actually a bit of a doofus. I believed it, right? It has nothing to do with the story. <laughs> Now, the only thing is, it's it's not going to be free. Better Call Saul explored Jimmy's very first interactions with the assorted drug cartels in Albuquerque, and that includes the baffling Salamanca family representative, Gus Fring. Is that how you want to be remembered? Given the fact that, despite how universally feared Gus was in Breaking Bad, there's no denying that everyone was craving to see more of him. Yet, Esposito wasn't at all sure whether he wanted to come back to the role. In fact, he really didn't want to return to portraying Gus Fring at all. The actor explained why he was so conflicted about his return during an appearance on GQ's iconic character series. Part of the reason I did this show was because during this period of time when they asked me to come and do a guest spot, there was, there's th this, the whole beginning. And it does kind of make sense when you stop and think about it for a moment. There's something about Gus Fring that makes him almost godlike. The way Esposito was able to layer the character doesn't just show how good of an actor Esposito truly is. It ultimately resulted in a character that he just didn't want to mess with any further. You are not worthy of my respect. You are not a god. You are simply bad. His story was done, and he would go into history as one of the most quietly horrifying in the history of TV. Going back to it in a prequel could potentially ruin all the hard work Esposito had put into it. So when Esposito was asked to return, it wasn't a decision that he could make without seriously considering every angle. It was a huge decision, and the actor knew it. So he really thought it over and took his time considering. Esposito added that he hoped he didn't stress anyone at Buena Vista Productions too much, or series creator Vince Gilligan, who probably already knew that Gus would bring weight to the show that would absolutely have been missed without the performance of Esposito. Who's the first? The first what? The first Italian numbers banker you're going to enter into the congressional record. Well, how the hell do I know? It felt to him like he would be going through the same dance as Breaking Bad. But the showrunners obviously already knew that Gus had a vital role to play. As we were shown in Breaking Bad, Saul had connections to the Salamanca family way before meeting Brian Cranston's Walter White and Aaron Paul's Jesse Pinkman. Sidebar, Jesse Pinkman is the real hero in Breaking Bad, whether you like it or not. To air, yeah. um, 
Has, I, has there ever been a favorite? Uh, oh God. And while it could have worked to explain Saul's ties to the criminal family through Jonathan Banks' Mike Ermintrout, at the end of the day, Gus Fring would always be needed to explain Mike's connection with Gus and how they came to be trusted associates. In other words, if Esposito had declined the offer, there would have been a clear void in the story, and that void would have ruined the entire show. It gets above 73 degrees. Guy, but... Life in prison, got it. Yeah, we can get by everything else, but not that. So, what convinced Esposito to risk ruining one of the best performances of his career? He realized that Better Call Saul was a prequel. As simple as it sounds, this made Gus's character a lot more complicated in Better Call Saul than he was in Breaking Bad. Esposito came to the conclusion that pre-Breaking Bad Gus was a lot less controlled and much more volatile. Just like Jimmy McGill was still growing into himself, You must drink stronger coffee than I do, because after 11 hours on the job, I can barely see straight. Gus Fring still had some huge developments to make as well before completely coming into his own. And Better Call Saul offered the perfect opportunity to allow for Gus to be a whole lot more vulnerable. And just like that, Esposito was intrigued. But it should be noted that all of this came from the actor himself. Originally, the showrunners had simply asked Esposito to do pretty much the same thing with Gus as before. It was Esposito's own desire to make more of the character that ultimately built Gus's imposing presence. And it couldn't have been any other way. There was still so much lore of this mysterious character to unravel. Surely Gus had to go through some challenges as well to become the stoic, silent, yet deadly criminal mastermind that we all fell in love with in Breaking Bad. And when you add everything up, even though Better Call Saul clearly wasn't about Gus Fring, there's just no way that the series would have been as good as it is with Esposito in it. If only because we would have known that he was missing. And fans of Breaking Bad had been begging to see more of Gus ever since we first met him. But credit has to be given to the hard work that Esposito put into building the character. It truly shows that he considered every little detail of how Gus wants the world to see him, if only because of his silence. That was all Esposito. Who knew that silence could be more terrifying than words? Now, Better Call Saul has been wrapped up for good. An ankle booster, would you? <coughs> yeah. That's cute. What else? Oh. And proven itself to be one of the most understated series of the last decade. Many have been wondering whether it isn't time for Esposito to shine in his very own spin-off as well. Clearly, there would be more than enough interest in it. Who would say no to getting to know Gus Fring better? Esposito himself would absolutely be up for the job. Now he's figured out how to keep the integrity of his iconic character intact. But unfortunately, Breaking Bad creator Vince Gilligan has let it be known that he isn't really interested in expanding the universe any further. But stranger things have happened before. And there's just something about this character that makes us coming back for more. It sure is a change from the doubt that Esposito once felt about returning to reprise the role before Better Call Saul. And now you know why Giancarlo Esposito almost turned down his Better Call Saul return.